Ooh, it's tea time. It's tea time with Mary. Hello, good morning. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Tea Time with Mary. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou, and it's so freaking awesome to see you back here on the Miss Mary Lou channel. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, hey friends, that's not what this video is about. But a lot of you have noticed we have finally hit and surpassed 1,000 subscribers. So, as promised, I will be doing a tea blending video followed by a giveaway of my own custom blend. I'm just, I'm just ordering the leaves because I want it to be like really good stuff, okay? So, as you can see from the title of this video, we are doing a spring makeup tea inspired tutorial. A hibiscus makeup look. I am digging through some like older samples and things that I'm just trying to use up. So I won't be identifying a lot of the brands that I'm using in this video because I try to keep it vegan cruelty free. If you have some like pinks and like browns and stuff, you can do this too. But before we hop into the video, if you're not subscribed to the Miss Mary Lou channel already, you are seriously missing out. Please hit the red subscribe button below and the little notification bell so you know when I upload. Enough jabba, let's hop into our spring hibiscus tea inspired makeup look for spring, okay? Mm. So those of you that know me, you're probably thinking, Mary, you hate hibiscus. Why, yes I do, but is it awfully pretty and perfect for spring? Heck yes it is. Eh. I have prepped my skin. I'm using this new like rose water toner stuff that like, it smells good. I am still gonna go in with some primer. This is the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. You know I love this one and it's like vegan cruelty free so hell yeah. Most of my products for my base have not really changed too much. It's more so going to be the blush, eyeshadow, all of that stuff that we're like making a little exception for today because also I need to use them before they expire. <laughs> We prime. Concealer, the NYX got you covered. In the shade Really Light Ivory. This is their 01 shade. And you know what? It's still too dark for me. This part is boring and takes a long time to blend out. So I'm just gonna do that. Yes, I know I don't use a beauty blender. It soaks up too much product that I cannot afford. So don't at me. I really want the base for this to look super flawless because we're gonna be going like super dewy and pinks, obviously. Not just because I'm a recovering perfectionist. Wait, we are concealed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the NYX HD finishing powder in my literal skin tone. Again, this is gonna look not great and then it's gonna look a lot better. I'm gonna let the powder sink in a little bit and we are gonna go right to brows. This spring, I'm super feeling really natural, natural brows. Going in, of course, with my trusty e.l.f. contour palette and I'm just gonna use an angled brush and fill them in. Maybe do a little thump thump to the very, very ends, but otherwise, if you have brow hair, nice to give it a little bit of a lift. Just, you know, cleaning up my dang mess. I am gonna go incredibly lightly just on the very ends to make it look like my eyebrows go to where I want them to go. Is this how people usually do eyebrows? Probably not. Don't judge me for my brow gel. Yes, this was clear. <laughs> actually defining a few hairs in the very front just to give them a little bit more of a fluffier boy brow texture. All right, so now that we got the brows done, it's time to kind of figure out what the heck we're doing for the actual eye looks. I have a bunch of like shadows, blushes, pinks and browns mostly in front of me. So let's kind of see where this goes. I'm actually gonna use a brown as a transition shade from my good old NYX Perfect Filter Palette. I'm gonna go in with the medium matte one right here. That's really good, I think. It has warmer undertones in it. I think it'll complement the pinks very nicely. Also, if you don't know this trick, now you, now you know it. I 
feel like I'm gonna drag this a little farther towards the center than I normally would. I'm ready to play with some pinks. I am gonna go in with this rosy blush color. I'm gonna use my flat brush to kind of put the color where I want it and then use my fluffier brush to blend it out. And this is gonna go kind of where we just put it, but not blend it out quite as fine, okay? I think we need to deepen it even more because this is hibiscus we're talking about. So I am gonna reach for my trusty Mellow Wan blush from Wet n Wild. I'm tempted to apply this with my angled brush because I want it to be like pretty precise application. And I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. I wanna keep this area up here fairly clean. I think it is time to move on to the lids. I think first I'm gonna apply some color to the outer corner and I think I'm gonna use the medium pink shade that we applied before. So just using this really rosy blush color, I'm just gonna gently pat that onto the outer third of my eyebrow. I don't really work with creams a lot for things like contour and highlight, but I do randomly have from like a sample thing, I got this cream highlighter stick. So I'm actually gonna go in with my brush and put it to about there. I'm gonna go and apply with my finger this really, really gorgeous like light pink shade from the NYX Perfect Filter palette. And this is just gonna pack on the color even more and really adhere it right to that cream highlight I put on there. Why don't I do this all the time? I don't know. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with the Mellow Wine blush and just kind of blend that into the crease a little bit. It's not like really a cut crease I'm going for. It's just a little extra glitter, okay? Bringing that blush down real far. This is a very bold look for me. Who is she? I think I'm gonna go back into the outer corner and apply a nice brown. So I'm gonna go and, uh, and apply this slightly cooler toned matte brown color. Just to add a little bit more range of color. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply that transition shade we used earlier, that lighter brown. I'm just gonna kind of connect that all very, very lightly. So I'm actually gonna go back with the tiniest, teeniest bit of the highlight and right in the center of my lash line. And then, you probably know where this is going, go back in with that really peachy shimmer shade, just right in the center of the bottom. There we go. I'm really thrilled with that. Almost kind of there with the eyes. I am not gonna do any liner today. You could of course smudge in some brown eyeliner, do a black wing if you wanted to. I'm just gonna try to keep this on the softer side today. For the brow bone and the inner corner, this is like a white loose pigment. Gosh, you only need the freaking tiniest bit of this stuff. And now where I blended that pink all the way to the center, I'm gonna meet it by dragging the highlight to meet it. So it's like all one piece. Underneath the lid, I'm gonna pull it inwards. Now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. The incredible amounts of powder that have been sitting here, most of it is like absorbed, or gone, or whatever, so it's great. Back in with my contour palette. Yes, this is what I used on my eyebrows. Nothing has changed. <laughs> so just into the contour shade. I really need to get a new one of these too. Focus this mostly in here. I'm not gonna do like a super, super harsh contour today. Then we're going in with a little bit of bronzer, just a little, because this is gonna be mostly about the blush. Again, just like using this as kind of the transition shade that just helps everything kind of melt into the face. 
Since I did use quite a few blushes on the eyes, I think I'm gonna go in with the medium shade, that really rosy color. And I'm gonna focus it mostly on the apples of my cheeks. Ah. We are just looking rosy and lovely. And I love to put some blush on my nose. I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Precious Petals. Precious. We are determined to glow today. Boop, boop. So I did lip stuff while the camera wasn't rolling. <laughs> I used a hot pink, because we're doing hibiscus today, as a base, and now I am going over it with a shimmery, lighter pink gloss. Uh, and it's less like chunks of glitter and more like, as you can see, kind of a wet look. It's so funny, I'm so used to matte lipsticks now that putting on a gloss just feels like alien to me. So there's our bright pink glossy glittery lips today. You can go in a lot of different directions. You could do something more nude. You could do something super, super bright and matte. You could do whatever, but uh, this is what I have. And this is what I'm gonna use. And no, I did not forget the last step, mascara. And then, and, and now we're here. Cut to the glamour shots. Okay, so here's the finished spring hibiscus tea inspired look. Thank you so much for this suggestion for this video. I'm glad that you guys like them so much. It's really fun. If you wanna see more tea inspired makeup looks, please let me know in the comments below. And last and most important of all, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on Thursday for the podcast. It's tea time with Mary. A one, a two, a shku wi do wi do Thanks for watching. Tea time with Mary. I hope to see you real soon. If you want to like, subscribe, and comment, uh -uh, I think that would be cool. Check out my Facebook.com slash Tea Time with Mary for all the content that's new or my Instagram. Twitch and Twitter, I'm at Miss Mary Lou. So thanks again for joining us. And thanks for being a friend. We'll see you next Tuesday. The fun never ends on tea time with Mary. That's me. Okay, hibiscus, maybe I'll give you another chance. No, that's not true at all.